Welcome to Spicy Tech, I am Mark and today we have, well they don't have uh, version 11 as yet so I'm a bit salty about that, <laughs> but besides that uh, we're looking to do a test here on 10.69.25.2. We're going to have Marsha take us on a nice tour to Dunsview Park. So I'm hoping, and right now it's a little bit of rush hour, it's uh, 6.03 and um, it's warm compared to, well relative to the previous days, that's spring in the air right now. So I'm going to start now. Take me to Dunn's View Park. Now turn left onto Tippic Road. I'm just going to choose the most ridiculous route here. And okay. So let's see how it goes. I'm seeing some strange trajectory there. Uh, but let's see if it, uh, it will take us. Okay. So we're good. Off to a decent start. I'm just going to slow it down here a little bit. Slow that down there a little bit. In 200 meters, turn Woo. left onto Wilson Avenue. So we do have some uh, some cars parked up on the right-hand side, and there is a gigantic pothole uh, ahead of us. So I'm hoping that it can avoid it. Hoping that uh, Marsha sees it. And oh, no, she didn't. <laughs> She's not going to see it. So we're making a left turn here on a busy turn intersection. We have cars that are going straight, cars that are making a right turn, and cars that are making left turns, of course. All right, now let's see how Marsha does this. We have to go up into the intersection. I'm hoping that she will do that for us. No, she will not. So I'm going to get some, inter <laughs> some intervention there. So that way she goes up and that way she can get some eyes on oncoming traffic to make the left turn. It's a little bit tricky because you have cars making right turns and some, some cars don't actually indicate when they're going right. So it's a little bit, uh, little bit tricky here. And we can probably start creeping up, getting it some intervention here. And uh, we can start going. So Marshall goes. We have no pedestrians crossing right now immediately goes into the right lane which is very good because we have a right turn coming up in about 300 meters in 200 meters turn right onto transit road okay i wouldn't make that any, any kind of right lane indication right now that wouldn't be smart no no okay not too sure why she did that um well, we can go up. There's no cars coming up here. I would have started uh, indicating from now, from here, and, and do it, but that's fine, I guess. That's that's no problem. Creeping up to get some visibility. Car moving very slow on the left-hand side here, making a right turn, so we can go. Oops. Slowing down a little bit there, not too sure why. But that's one of the things I would love to see with Vision 11, you know, giving me a lot of indications as to what it's doing. So we're going to have some transparency with that, and I'm really looking forward to that. That's really for the in-city navigation. That transparency will really come in handy. We gotta get out from this lane here. I would have indicated, but I guess just off of uh, necessity, it had to get out of that lane, <laughs> so it it did it for us. Meters, turn left onto William R. Allen Road. Okay, so we have a left in coming up here. Now turn left onto William R. Allen Road. It was going a little bit uh, too spicy around that corner there. It, it was actually picking up speed on the corner uh, when we had we have a I mean a red light and a left turn right in front of us. But I mean it stopped and it's it's all good. Now we have the random the the spasming of the uh, indicator. It stops, then it goes on. Uh, that's a that's a common thing, so it's fine. It's no problem. It's just something to be aware of. and no going straight here 
giving it some jewels so we can start going forward again there's cars behind me it's rush hour traffic right now all right and we off okay so we have they want to 200 meters turn left onto shepherd avenue west okay that was a good indication that was actually really good but yep so we have this left turn here and that was actually really really good because we have this lane spanning from quite straight down to that traffic light all the way here to make this left turn so it is going to take us some time to actually make this left turn a very gradual slow down there and again this is the point i'm making in terms of how i expect it to feel when we are making um, when we are on the highway with a lot of traffic i just saw that, that a car that just passed there forgot to indicate and now has to go straight so that's why i'm really impressed with this left turn this early left turn that marsha made it was really good wow but this trip is gonna is, is gonna have a lot of well a lot of left turns yeah a lot of left turns and then coming down to the end there is a bit of a strange road too as well in the past it has been a little bit robotic in terms of that navigation coming down to the end so i'm hoping that there's some some kind of uh, improvement there Right, so we're coming up to our left turn One here. Turn left onto West. It's very busy on the roads. I was actually hoping to get some uh, some time for the camera to cool down, but things just escalated quickly. We have a busy left turn here. Most likely, it's not going to be um, us making a left turn soon because there's no right of way and it's just really packed right now. Okay, we have right of way making this left turn here really confidently yes sir so that was really nice really good kept its pace really that was really good i'm not gonna lie that was almost human like it didn't hesitate it did what it had to do to make that turn especially on a busy street it's indicating to go right not too sure why can go up a little bit i'm giving it some uh, jewels it wants to indicate here and then it just suddenly makes that right turn for us so we are running it on average mode right now just in case you're wondering and again we don't have a v11 <laughs> i want to cry right now because <laughs> I would love to be testing it out for you guys we don't have it as yet but uh i mean this is this is the next best thing right and hopefully with uh with the v11 i will be testing it out on this route too as well so no one really misses out no lane markings here but it now comes up after after this uh, couple of meters indicating but no lane changes it could be a bit confusing for those behind us you have some sudden braking there's a car behind me but it's not very close to me so I let it I just let it do its thing we have two cars trying to indicate it right I'm not too sure if Marsh okay so he was polite enough to let that person pass because I don't think Marsha would have allowed him to, to go 
but we do have a turn coming up in 800 meters and I'm a bit worried that we will not be able to make it. I'm hoping Marsha recognizes that this lane that I'm in isn't going to move as fast as the lane to the left and we need to get into the left lane quickly. There's a car in on that side there so I'm not too sure if we'll be able to make it. Just gonna bump it down to 50. to make that left turn in 600 meters. We have room now. Marsha, you can go. <laughs> I would strongly recommend going now. Car coming here. Let's go, let's go. Come on, you can go. You can go, do it. Come on, come on, come on. No, I want to disengage. We didn't make that left turn there. We could have made that left turn. Meters, turn left John Drive. So that was there. I mean, and that's what I I also think V11 will um, will fix too. It will fix the getting into that gap there much quicker than before. Much quicker than how it uh, it got into the gap here. Because that way you can easily miss the, the turns, right? So... I'm hoping that that is uh, much improved with V11. And that's our first disengagement. So we have a left turn here now on a busy, busy street. Not seeing any immediate gaps. And I would have actually, I would have moved up a little bit into the middle of the intersection to make that left turn. The car coming up behind me now. The bus is on the left side, and uh, yeah, it made it. it. Made it pretty well. Now turn right to stay on John Drive. So now we have a strange road here. We have a sudden bend in the road, and it indicates on that corner. So it still it still makes that mistake, but that's that's trivial for the most part. People behind me will be confused. This is where it stays in this lane. We have a blinking red light, all stop. And uh, yeah, we can go. We can go. Now turn right onto Connect Avenue. Right, so it indicates that we're going right and we have a stop sign here. I, I mean, I wouldn't really do that, but because the left side is blocked off anyways. It's having some difficulty with this right turn, going to a safe zone first and then making it. In 200 meters, turn right, and your destination will be on the left. And it looks like we're almost there. Now turn right. Okay. Alright, so Marsha took us to the park very well done there was about two or three interventions one disengagement and uh, overall it was a really good performance especially in rush over traffic especially with those early lane changes which was good uh, coming down to the end though there was a little bit of a late uh, change uh, in fact it was making that lane change but then the gap was too the gap was too narrow too too uh, too small and the car just didn't want to make it. So then we had that disengagement. I'm hoping with version 11, we see quicker response times, especially trying to get into those gaps when it has to make a left turn or even making anticipating that left turn earlier than what we saw today. Thank you again for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click that notification bell. If you have any uh, feedback or any advice, please let me know. And uh, hopefully we will see you next time with Vision 11. Bye.